What's good guys, we're back at it again with another video. As you see from the title, today we have a Sean Stewart breakdown. This is the number seven player in the class of 2023. This is also a Duke commit. Uh, power forward, 6'8", 230 it says. You know, he's from Florida and currently I'm in Florida. So, you know, I've heard about him a couple times. I've seen a couple clips. Some of our high schoolers, I've mentioned his name before, you know, and if I had seen him or not. But this breakdown right here is my first, like actually, this is my first time like actually looking at him. You know, taking time watching the game. We have similar builds. Like I said, he's like 6'8", 230, 240. Little clips I've seen. I'm seeing he's a decent athlete, can move a little bit. So I'm actually like pretty excited to see what he can do, especially if he's a top 10 player. And we've done breakdowns on a lot of players in 2023. And I already know what the talent is like in this class. So for him to be that high, for him to be that high, number seven in this class, I already know he can go. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Sean Stewart. Even at 6'8", Duke commit Sean Stewart has the ability to get a rebound and push in transition going coast to coast, and this is an extremely tough lay high off the glass. He also has a knack for the ball always in the right spot, which he converts here using his physical frame. He doesn't just come up with it in loose ball situations. Sean is also relentless on the glass, always skying above the rim. If you don't put a body on him, he's going to put it back in. His athleticism allows him to run the floor extremely well, and if you couldn't tell yet, this is an above-the-rim athlete. His skill level even allows you to throw it ahead to him in transition, and he'll finish the play. His versatility extends past the painted area. When in rhythm, he can also knock down jumpers. Again, you have to put a body on him, or you know what time it is. This is a developing part of his game, but if you don't have a hand up, Sean will shoot the ball and show no hesitation, whether it be from mid-range or from three when he's in rhythm or given time and space, he's showing he can knock it down. It's going to be scary to see what happens once he puts all of this together. Sean Stewart, I'm going to say this first. This is a player, just even after watching that breakdown, this is a player that I'm probably personally going to be tracking for a while in his career, kind of like Bam, right? So dudes that were or that are my bill, like 6'8", 230, 240, like when I was coming out of high school, or at least at, at least junior year, my kind of comparison was Bam a little bit because this is before Bam got to, you know, the league and all of a sudden his skills started showing. So at the time, Bam was more of a really athletic big <clears throat> that would show flashes of skill sometimes, right? Sean Stewart, 6'8", it isn't more flashes of skill. He's showing you the skill early, but the reason why I'm saying that, why I follow Bam now, while I'm going to end up you know, following his, his progress over his career is, those two are the iterations of what I, I wanted my game to be. Like at some point I thought in my head, you know, when I'm going through the ranks, I'm going through my years, I'm like, all right, my freshman year of college, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm getting a lot of skill work in by my junior year. This is what I'm going to look like. Like, this is what I'm going to look like, you know, so this is why I'm saying, like, I'm going to be tracking him, let's just jump into his game and what I thought my game was going to look like, right? So, like I said, at his size, 6'8", 230, 240, he already has that build, kind of like Jalen Duren. Like, when these dudes came into college, they already had college bodies. Duren already had pretty much an NBA body. Sean Stewart already has the size, the weight, looks like he has the strength. So, imagine what he's going to look like once he gets that college that Duke level, you saw what Duke had Zion looking like when he was there for one year, how skinny and in shape he was. Imagine how Sean's going to look with them college weights at Duke, right? But for him, with his physicality, you show it, he shows that he used it in the paint. He can finish in traffic. He can finish above the rim. He's strong on the glass. This dude is relentless. I've seen his stats. I'm not sure if he had a game he didn't have a double-double. Over these last two EYBL sessions, I'm not sure if he had one game that he didn't have a double-double. A lot of them were 20 and 10s. A lot of them were 20 and 10s. He's relentless on the glass, and he's one of those bigs that, like, if you don't box out, he's coming. And he is a he is a decent athlete. He can play above the rim. This is an above-the-rim big, you know. So if you don't box him out, he's coming behind you. And more times than not, he's going to dunk on you. Like, he's going to dunk on you. So that's big time. Um, one of the things that why he's so highly touted is those flashes of skill that he'll show you, right? So not only is he physical in the paint, like I said, he can finish in traffic. You know, he has some decent footwork. He got some hooks. He has good touch, but those flashes of skill. So the first clip that I showed you to have a big at his size, not skinny either, like actually built solid to be able to grab it off the backboard and go coast to coast and finish. And this isn't a finish where he even 
that's even the finish itself high off the glass would touch high off the glass would touch how many bigs are actually able to do that go coast to coast and then have touch like that and still finish around the rim from time to time he also shows that he can put it down so his handle is solid you know and then with the jump shots he's showing you he can also knock that down now i wouldn't say at this point that it's definitely a strength but at this point right now in his career in that mid-range he can knock that down it looks like it's pretty it's pretty solid he can knock that down if your hand isn't there when he faces up off the block or like you saw in trail situations if your hand isn't there he's not going to hesitate and he shows he can knock that down with some level of confidence from the three-point line again i won't say it's a it's a strength now but you saw he hit two of them i saw his stats i'm not those might i'm not sure if he hit many more than that but you showing he can he can knock it down so imagine what it's going to look like once he really starts to get that work in defensively active active defensively as well like i said he's active on the offensive glass active on the defensive glass active trying to get trying to block shots like i said he is an athlete so he can jump and challenge a lot of these a lot of these layups a lot of these floaters right a lot of these times when guards try to get into a paint but all in all like i said like these players him he's right below gg like i said gg's a little skinnier gg's is probably a little a little more skilled right but sean when you have these players again i've just said it with cooper flag like these players that are bigger taller that can do a lot of things on the court a lot of things on the court and it's and it's translatable at pretty much at every single level you saw paulo just did at duke part of the reason probably why he's being why he's going he isn't as tall as paulo probably doesn't have the handle as paulo but he probably watched him in the tournament this past season like okay you see that skill that's where you know sean probably wants to get to one day and i'm really intrigued to see okay what he's going to look like once he starts to put it all together what this kid's ceiling is but like i said i'm going to be tracking them simply because we got the same size same build this is what i wanted to be same thing with bam this is what i thought i was going to be didn't get there where i won't say that i got there i look like that in la fitness or against some of our high school team can't do it in college but i still look like that and pick up like share subscribe turn on post notifications great appreciate you guys watching remember you want the one-on-one evaluations subscribe with breakdowns that go on the channel just like these or this Hit the website in the description. Like I always say, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.